I was actually shocked at how little people understood Stormstump, so I want to showcase a bit of that really quickly. Like, people legitimately don't know how to play with it and against it, so... I at least want to uh, get that out of the way. There's also a few things that I want to actually test, including the Baldishan's Blessing. Because since the poise damage has been buffed across the board, I don't think anyone checked, like, how much this affected Baldishan. Because before the patch, the only thing that could stun Baldishin's Blessing or Radiant Baldishin was pretty much a, a Colossal. So right now I'm assuming there's probably a lot more things that can stun it. What do you think is the best Ash of War for Knight Rider Glaive? Flame Strike, easy. Flame Strike, easy, man. I feel like a lot of these Ash of Wars are misunderstood because people don't use them on the right weapon. Let's start with this. So people are using Storm Stomp wrong. Because you're not supposed to just use Stormstone by constantly spamming it. You're supposed to use it on reaction. And, uh... Kermit, can you grab the small weapon? Anything that does not have Hyper Armor. I'll actually just Storm Stomp it. Alright, so just R1 me. So that's why Storm Stomp is strong. It's because you can activate Hyper Armor on reaction. And then you can you can then punish people on reaction with a storm stomp. That's why it's so strong. All right, now uh, Kermit, can you grab an hyper armor weapon? All right, now you react to my storm stomp. I'll storm stomp, and you just R one, and you'll probably go through it. I mean, you will go through it. Look at that. So he basically he won the trade. Like right now, we don't have uh, he doesn't have a weapon that's equipped for damage, but he pretty much wins, wins the trade. Alright Kermit, now though I want you to R1 me and I'll reaction storm stomp your R1. So that's one thing though, it's like storm stomp even against I armor, whoops, even against I armor stuff can still be can still be used after I armor. Now try to do two R1s in a row, uh, Kermit. Two R1s in a row. Alright. Okay. Try again. So that's the thing though, like if you time it properly, like if you pay attention, even Storm Stomp can counter um, Hyper Armor weapons. <clears throat> okay, so aside from that, people are saying uh, block and dead guard, guard counter. So Kermit, could you grab like a shield and a weapon? Or actually, I'll grab a shield and a weapon. You have Storm Stomp. I'll grab a shield. I'll grab a shield and let's just say a dagger. So storm stomp me and I'll just block it and then uh, and then guard counter. Try attacking after you storm stomp. So even if that traded there, um, let's try to let's try to use uh, this here. Oh, that's even slower. Let's try let's try a straight sword. So well, even then, that's a trade, interestingly enough. Let's try this. I'm gonna be honest, I did not even think that would be a trade. My argument was going to be that uh, even in the case of um, Storm Stomp uh, getting blocked, the moment I decide to R1, he can still Storm Stomp on the reaction. So it doesn't really matter if you can block it or not, because the whole point of using Storm Stomp and why it's actually so strong it's not because you use it from neutral, it's because you can use it on per, like only on reaction. So you can just avoid using Storm Stomp for no reason and only use it on reaction. And so like the whole point of like blocking the Storm Stomp goes out of the window when the opponent only uses it properly, aka on reaction. Because you're never really going to block something in reaction because you're going to wait for them to Storm Stomp and they're going to wait for you to... Um, to be uh, to be attacking and so nothing will happen so at the end of the day a proper use of storm stomp is basically just using storm stomp on reaction you one thing you can do though and this has been there since the beginning all right kermit do a storm stomp and i'll uh, uh counter your storm stomp on reaction so since the very beginning a counter to storm stomp has been storm stomp so if you you can just Storm Stomp, a Storm Stomp on Reaction. And yeah, that's that's probably one of the more like reliable counter here. Okay, other than that, what you can do... 
you can R1 with a great sword, for instance, or any eye armor weapon on reaction. But again, like I said, it doesn't, it never takes away from the fact that the storm stump, like the whole point of the storm stump is that it can reaction trade pretty much anything. Yeah, let's try spin slash. I said pretty much anything, but except some specific things. Do I have spin slash with me? Okay, so let's go with the, the Nox Hammer instead. I mean, the principle is the same, except that uh, some attacks are going to be better than others. But the concept is basically that some attacks try to Storm Stomp. Oops. All right, let me grab a Spin Slash. Some attacks uh, will break Storm Stomp. All right, Kermit, I want you to attempt a Storm Stomp on reaction, just like we were doing earlier. Oh, well, yeah, actually, you can poise it. All right, well. All right, well, that's debunk. Spin Slash does not uh, break Storm Stomp. Probably this one, though. Okay, so, um, yeah, attacks that have eye armor and that can follow up like that will work, I guess. Let's try... Sorry, on sheet. So Unsheet, whoops, Unsheet will actually break it. So that's one. Alright, let's go. So you can always like go for um, for something that does like a, a, a load of uh, of damage like over time like that, like a Stormhawk or like a Tornado. Honestly, I think we went over like all the main points. You could also like Shield Bash. There's a, there's a few Ash of War that, that work well against it. Let's try... Um, uh, let's try Storm Assault. Alright, just try to Reaction Storm Stomp that. Alright, I'll try to Storm Assault it on Reaction. But I mean, Storm Assault and Storm Stomp, it's like the same principle. Like, like if he waits for me to do it first, he's going to be able to, um, to roll out of it. If he reacts to it. Like that. That's a, that's a good example. So again, guys, there's it's not it's like uh, it's not really like bulletproof solutions. There's a few ways you can go about it, but one of the most reliable way to go against it is to just reaction storm stomp the storm stomp. And uh, another good way to go about it, like something that uh, I probably don't have the right weapon for it, but if you have a weapon that has very fast recovery, like something like this, for instance. Like uh, um, a trusting sword or something that has very low recovery. The play is also to just... You can actually attract, attack from neutral into another Ash of War. So like here you could do R1 into Ender. Let's try it actually. Let's showcase it. Alright, Kerm uh, Kermit. Just use Storm Stomp on Reaction. I'll basically just R1 and then Ash of War. So see here, like I didn't roll uh, fast enough here, but... You could probably go about like perfect blocking a storm stomp to punish it, but at the end of the day, a storm stomp used used well is a storm stomp that's used on reaction. And so when it comes to that, you basically want an option that either has low recovery enough to be able to do a Nash of War after afterward, like uh, what we did with the the um, trusting sword there. You want something that will break the storm stomp like plain straight up, like uh like unsheet here uh, does that. Something that has eye armor can can work, but it's still dangerous. Like people are saying, like, oh, just block it or just use an eye armor weapon. They're kind of like missing the whole point of like how these things play. Let's try actually club because I don't know if club eye armor. Uh... Yeah, so I don't think it really matters what eye armor weapon you're using. You'd pretty much need something that has like continuous eye armor like that. Something that has continuous eye armor. Uh, would be a, a good a good way to approach it. But again, guys, it's not a bulletproof solution because if the Storm Stomp is smart, they'd really only be using when, let's say, you're going for like a running attack or they're really looking for one specific attack that you're throwing out there for them. And that's when they throw it out. And that's when it becomes problematic because they just force trades. They force trades on reaction. Because you, you can't, uh, like, you cannot... You cannot, like, um avoid forcing trade when your opponent can just press one button on reaction like that it's like it's just as easy as rolling something that, that's 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 the problem here 